The brain's ability to imagine is a fascinating mystery. I grew up in Mexico and my small family crossed the border because we imagined a better life in the United States. Later, I escaped an abusive home because I imagined a better future for myself. And much later, my imagination inspired me to dream of having a job where I could ponder the largest questions of life. I'm Fernanda de la Torre, and at the McGovern Institute, I use math to study how our brain understands the difference between imagination and reality. Let me give you an example. Follow the motion of this spin cube. Do you imagine it dropping onto the purple surface or sliding down a ramp? It's hard to tell, right? That's because the visual clues are vague and the movement of the pink cube could be caused by different physical realities. Now, what if I pair the same video with a sound clue? Now it's obvious, the cube is clearly sliding down the ramp. That's because your brain combined the visual clues and the sound clues to determine what was really happening with the cube. I use artificial neural networks or a series of math equations to understand how the brain makes these important mental calculations so that we can distinguish imagination from reality.